It is time once again for the Morning Mindset from LiveBuildChange.com. And this Morning Mindset edition of the podcast is aimed at helping you live your faith in a more practical, a more powerful, a more life-changing way. Because it's one thing to attend church. It's another thing to read your Bible. It's another thing to memorize verses or pray. But if those things are not translating into a changed life, then it could be argued you're not really living your faith. It's more a said faith. It's more an intellectual exercise. And yesterday, in the Morning Mindset edition of this podcast, we were talking about Paul's phrase in Colossians chapter 3, verse number 1, where he said, If then you have been raised with Christ. And right there is a fact that you and I need to accept about ourselves. Because of our union with Jesus Christ through faith, we died with him on the cross over 2,000 years ago. And when he was raised from the grave in new life, we were raised in new life as well. Paul says in another place, we are new creations in Christ. And I tried to hammer it home yesterday. I'm going to say it again here just very briefly. That is the first thing you need to believe about yourself is that you are a new creation. And this is not wishful thinking. This is not like the stupid affirmations that you hear out there in the day where you say, I am good, I am great, I am wonderful. And you say it to yourself over and over and over trying to convince yourself. This is not that. This is God saying something that is true of you from the word of God. This is not you making up some hopeful thing about yourself and trying to convince yourself. This is God saying it. So that's where Paul starts. He says, if you've been raised with Christ, here's what you're to do. Seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And that takes us back to where I started yesterday's morning mindset edition. What did you wake up with on your mind this morning? What were the things that were consuming your thoughts? You are not to seek after those things. Now, understand, those may be things that are a part of your day and that you need to be responsible for, but that's not what you're to be seeking. See, listen to his word. Seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Now, what are the things that are above? Well, that doesn't mean we, we're we seeking you know, angels playing harps or heaven, even though that's a great thing to seek. What it's saying is... Seek the purposes of heaven in your life. It reminds me of the Lord's Prayer that we often say in churches or even in our own prayer times. We'll say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You see, we are to seek things here in our life, in our mindset, in our way of looking at the world and in our way of living that are like the things above, that are according to the way God wants things to be. So when he says, seek the things that are above, he's saying, get your mind off your agenda. Get your mind off the stresses that are pressing in on you and trying to control you today. Get your mind off of those things and instead seek to be a doer of God's will. Seek to be one who is active in living out what God says is best for your life and for the lives of those around you. You see, this is not just a self-centered thing, even though it starts with thinking about who you are in Christ as a new creation. It moves on from there, and it's thinking about what your life is to accomplish now that you are a new creation in Christ. And that begins with seeking the things that are above, the things God wants for you and for your life. So look around you today. What are the activities you're going to be doing? Who are the people you're going to be interacting with? What would it look like if in those conversations and in those responsibilities, you were seeking the things above? I'm going to give you a little bit to think about that. I want you to really take some time right now after this episode's over and think through what that would look like for you today. And I will talk to you again tomorrow on the Morning Mindset edition of Live to Build Change.